Striking of the Gavel There is a lesson a Jew may learn from the striking of the gavel, a common procedure at congressional assemblies. After deliberating and entertaining various opposing opinions and arguments, the assembled arrive at a final judgment, conclusion, and decision which is introduced by the bang of the gavel. The equivalent concept in Jewish life is known as Maka Bepatish, banging with the hammer, the final touch and definitive act and completes a project, campaign, etc. We may not clearly see how a given act is actually a personal service of God. Therefore, we must continuously increase in our good deeds to augment the likelihood of reaching the final touch and purpose, seeing our service to God revealed. Reb Mordecai, a student of the Baal Shem Tov, was taught by his Rebbe that a soul enters this physical world and spends 70 or 80 years all for the single purpose of doing a favor for one's fellow Jew. Although his every act was lofty and godly, and he accomplished much in his spiritual journey, Reb Mordecai was told there may be a simple single act, that is the final touch, that will not only complete his purpose in life, but may be the ultimate purpose of creation. This one act may bring about the final merit of the collective Jewish people to bring the long-awaited redemption. To see miracles in life, one must fulfill this teaching to learn from everything we see, hear, and experience. We must realize the direct relationship between the striking of the gavel in Congress by the non-Jew and our own striking of the spiritual gavel, forever searching for the final touch in one's divine service.